Hello, welcome back. Uh, got a little bit more enchantment done. Research is slowly ticking up. And the Iron Throne was claimed. I'll check that out in a moment. Uh, we claimed the Crystal Throne. Search for sites and didn't find any. Elam has a new prophet. And the stars are right for blood magic. A bunch of scouts got caught. Finished our citadel, which is nice. And killed some filthy brigands in even more. Uh, another very quiet turn. I think our best target to attack is Jomon. Because we have a nice broad border with them, so we can push in on lots of points. And they have the best throne access that I can see. Kalem doesn't really have access to any thrones. It'd be nice to get the territory, but same for Patola. Their thrones are here and here, which is a bit far. This one looks like it's in Gath's territory. Uh, so the Iron Throne was claimed by, I think that's Gath, right? We just looked. So it spreads Dominion 2, 100 resources, enables recruitment of the Adepts of the Iron Order, who are very similar to my uh, Crystal Mages. There we are. If we could just push this in and just take it all quickly, maybe it's still worth doing. But if we rolled up Jomon's territory, we'd get access to two more thrones, which seems more useful than anything else. Not sure how far Tianchi's lands stretch. They're another good target. We can see three thrones here. I'll get more scouts through here. I, th I still think Jomon's probably best, because we know that Tianchi had a really rough start. They're probably weak for a while. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. Um, but other than that, it's yeah, it's a pretty brief turn. Uh, we've claimed the throne, we're setting up an infrastructure now, gonna site search it. Uh, I think I'm doing one remote death site searching ritual somewhere. Yeah, dark knowledge on Imicton, another forest. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and that's about it. Walking around the site searches, still upgrading buildings. Uh, we've got the fortress in Capra in one month. Superior is now a citadel, it's done. And Rid still isn't being upgraded. Do we really need a citadel over here? Well, I'd like one. Uh, but that's pretty much how things stand. In Raga, I'm going to recruit a couple of... Um, what are these? Z Zayadan Spab Beds. <laughs> Griffin Commanders. Um, to lead around. If you could have flying armies, we could shove in... We could just land on a couple of these provinces on turn one of the war. While our armies move up. Seems pretty good to me. Well, I'll get a couple of flying commanders. And that is basically the turn. Um, recruitment is not doing much here because I'm going to wait till the fortress gets upgraded. Um, Hesperia, not getting any units. Rude, I think I'm getting a couple. This is where I've got the fewest units. Uh, and that's it, because over and even more, I've started a temple, which is 800 gold. And yeah, it's a lot of gold. Uh, and that's that's it, yeah. So a very, very quiet turn. Um, research did start, should start ticking up. And I guess we'll see about invading Jomon in a couple of turns. Uh, so that was turn 19, thanks for watching. See you in a moment. Hello and welcome back. Uh, dark knowledge, found nothing. Manually searching, found nothing. That's a shame. I had two battles then. First up was Jomon attacking a throne. He's got a pretty big army. We have lots of samurai archers. Okay. Mostly just longbow guys. We've got samurai cavalry, light lance, and a katana. Looks like they're worse than my Savaran guys, though. We have some Yamabushis. We've seen the Bless before. Not a bad one. Uh, these guys hit very hard. 17 attack, where well, 20. These guys are pretty tough, but they haven't got many hit points, have they? Do you get any defense on your bless? Uh, no. And that's it. A couple of mages. What's this guy? Red Tengu. Are they mages or are they just priests? Oh, they're just priests, okay. What about you? Goku. Alright, that's a lot of units. They're pretty high quality, but I still think we're much better than them. Oh wow. This throne has sacred units, but... <laughs> I 
Regular wood hand druids. Ooh, a Yakshini. Ah uh, yeah, so not much for throne. That's a pretty big army. Just fine men and a couple of blowpipe guys. I feel like if we go up against this army, it's just going to be a question of how quickly we can kill a unit. Uh, that was Carrion Maya. He lost a bit of stuff. Not much, let's see. This is 11 gold, 35 gold, 19 gold. That's not much. Uh, we also saw a battle between Patala and Kalem. I guess Patala is going to go after AI Kalem stuff. I saw in the Discord that. Someone just bumped one of Patala's armies as well. I think it might have been Gath. Patala would be very easy to push around, I just don't know if it's worth doing it or not. Um, so that is Patala. Uh, worldwide event, no. Event first in Thicket of Gold, we lost some province events, that's a shame. I've been putting it up to 10. Worldwide event, blood rituals are still cheaper. Uh, one of our scouts got caught, and then we caught two scouts on our stuff. Uh, Fortress and Capri is finished. Did some patrolling. Uh, my unconstitutional Twitch ban died of a disease, and became a national hero. Uh, stories of the now dead, my unconstitutional Twitch bans. Brave deeds and his enormous strength. Uh, rest in peace to that guy. He died for clout. Uh, that's pretty funny. Okay, so still a relatively simple turn. I'm still gonna just... I'm gonna act as if I'm gearing up for war with Jomon. And the plan is still gonna be to just fly into some of these provinces on turn one, while we push up two armies from these thrones. Uh, that's the plan. For now though, we're just gonna sit back. We have so many fire gems, I would like to be sinking these fire gems into something before we go to war. So I'm just gonna, since I've set my sights on enchantment, I'm just gonna wait till we hit or are close to hitting enchantment 6 so that I can do some hidden in sands because that's at least something to do with the gems. Uh, after that I'll pick up some basic evocations. I forgot we need evocations as well. N6, Con6, Construction 6 and Evo 6? For flame eruption? No. I guess what we really want is Pillar of Flame, right? Falling Fires is a nice one though, so Evo 5. Yeah. But three at least gives us fireball. Uh, and yeah, and research. I'm gonna start taking up. Um, other than that, still moving site searches, still doing scouts. Got scouts going through here. Uh, here's where Patala's moving. Uh, over in Snowford, I'm gonna start building a temple here. So this is another 800 gold. It'll let us recruit these guys though. Maybe we can do some basic, very basic nature site searching. Uh, actually, how. How much do you need for Haraspexy again? Uh, N2, okay, yeah. We'll look for some N1 sites, I suppose. Uh, and then maybe start summoning some wolves as well. Don't really have many nature gems, is the thing. Um, so for the time being, I'm gonna cast Revive King, and then do a few reanimations. That's just to get us some patrollers. And then we'll just start blood hunting here, I think. Might as well start generating some blood slaves now. Uh, other than that, yep, yeah, still just sitting by getting up buildings, doing research. Might be a bit boring for a couple of turns, unless someone invades us. Uh, but that's still the plan. What else happened on the Discord? Let me just check. There was something else, I'm sure. There was... Oh, it was Flegra. So we had Flegra bumping into Patola. And then we had Atlantis bumping into Flegra, okay. What else we got here? Uh, looks like Katiz and Tianchi are at war? Or... Yeah. It looks, oh, it's an assassination. So Katiz assassinated a Tianchi commander, so I guess those guys are at war. Anything else interesting in here? I don't think so. Okay. So where is... Patala's border with Gath, I guess it's um, with Flegra, I guess it's over here. Because here's Marignon. I got a message from Marignon as well, um, asking me if I wanted to be peaceful. 
And I said, sure, because <laughs> this is our only board of a Maragnon. Uh, although that might change if we roll over Jomon quickly. What nation's this? Erythea. Probably not long for this world. Okay. Well, in the turn there. <laughs> Uh, that's turn 20. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, and welcome back. Uh, another quite simple turn. Got some more uh, enchantment done, though. So we're on 4 now. We can do raise dead. Which is something. Uh, we can do domes. Which is also something. We could now flaming arrows or, um... Savaran, who do have bows. Maybe that'll be useful one day. That's about it for now, though. Get a hold of skeletons next turn. I've started moving around all of my D2 mages to put them nearer to Jomon's border. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. We'll keep going. Research is a bit low now. It's a, it was about 260, but then I've started moving some people around. So it's getting up there. I uh, found a magic site in Great Woods, Forgotten Village. This is a blood site, because you're a slave. So that's something, I suppose. Uh, we've almost finished searching all of this area manually. I've got this province to do. Yeah, we're searching Duralyn this turn. Uh, and then everything else is just scouts, let's see. Yeah. The scouts, we lost a lot of our, our scouts, unfortunately. Uh, worldwide event is Blood Ritual still. Yeah, okay. This is how things look. I see Katiz over here fighting uh, Tian Chi. Lost my scout on their cap, unfortunately. I'll try and keep an eye on how things develop here. Be nice to know that they're tied up with someone. Uh, Patala, they're walking into Kalem. The killer started recruiting mammoths. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hopefully these guys get, get stuck in a war for a bit. Uh, I don't know what Atlantis is doing, but... Can't see him walking towards me, so that's probably good. Uh, yeah, and I'm just uh, continuing to move scouts through Jomon's territory. I assume the big army that just took the throne is now here. I'm making sure I've got a scout there to see where it is. It might be his only army. It should be good. Uh, so my movements this turn, so just building buildings and stuff. Um, I've got two D2 mages here, moving up towards Capria. Um, as well as this guy, who's leading some troops. So I'm leading all these guys up as well. Uh, there's quite a lot of stuff here at the moment. So we'll, be, we'll, we'll be able to march one army through here. We'll probably get a bit of warning about that, but... That's okay. Oh, we're still building up the griffins in our cap, of course. We've got quite a few of these now. Uh, they can only fly 14 map move, unfortunately. But still, it's flying. Uh, I can get all the way to Scantress at the moment. That's pretty good. Uh, and same sort of stuff over here. I'm still just building up stuff in the garrison over here. This will be another little army we can move over this way. Um, yeah, we're a bit hindered by the terrain in this region, but... Even so. That is still a plan. Uh, Snowford, we... I missed that message. Oh yeah, we cast Revive King. Um, so we've got a Man King now. I'm going to start doing some reanimation each month to give them some patrollers. Uh, and I've just started blood hunting here. We can't forge, um, what are they called? Dowsing rods yet? So, even so, there's, there'd be two mages, so they can start bringing in some slaves. And uh, over in red, I've also got a couple of little F mages. We're now just going to start forging fires and jars. So we still to have those. We're generating 12 fire gems per turn now. So forging two jars per turn. Still keeps us in positive gem income. Uh, so that's all good. I think that's pretty much it for this turn. So it's still relatively quiet. I'd like to get close to, and I'd like to get like into the evocations. Like I'd like to be back, back here on my research um, path before I move up, and then as I move in, I'll, I'll hit all the other targets. That's the thinking, anyway. Uh, but that's how things stand at the moment. I don't think there's anything else too interesting happening. Check. Jars, castle, reanimation. Uh, Palisades on Ivanmore gets finished this time, which is good. Uh, that was turn 21, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.